capsicum farming in Kenya is a profitable venture. But many farmers struggle, especially during the germination stage. With the right guidance, however, you can grow capsicums from seed to harvest and make the most of this high demand vegetable. In this tutorial, we will walk you through every step from selecting the best capsicum seeds to planting, from pest control to harvesting. Now, we shall cover the following topics. The capsicum market in Kenya, the best time to plant capsicums in Kenya, the best soil for capsicum farming, the best capsicum variety to grow in Kenya, how to raise capsicum seedlings, capsicum planting and spacing, capsicum fertilizer application schedule, capsicum pest and control methods, and finally capsicum diseases and how to control them. The capsicum market in Kenya. Capsicums enjoy a steady demand in Kenya, particularly in the mass market and grocery stores. Brokers absorb around 70% of the total production making it easier for farmers to sell in bulk and secure fast revenues. Capsicum's prices typically range from 30 shillings to 80 shillings per kilo, fluctuating based on supply and demand. Prices are highest during the times of extreme shortage. The best time to plant capsicums in Kenya. For the highest profits, ideal time to plant capsicums in Kenya is February and September. This allows you to harvest during Easter and Christmas festive season when the demand is highest. Planting this month ensures your crop are ready for harvest when the prices are peak. To maintain a steady income, ensure a continuous supply by staggering your planting and harvesting times. Buyers prefer farmers who can provide consistent deliveries regardless of the season. The best soil for capsicums farming. Before investing in capsicum farming, ensure your soil is suitable. Capsicums thrive in deep, fertile, well-drained loam soils. Avoid planting in fertile in fields previously used for potato or tomato farming, as these crops share pests and diseases that could damage your capsicum crop. The best capsicum varieties to grow in Kenya. For better yields, choose high-yield hybrid capsicum varieties. These are more resistant to diseases and pests. Here are two of the best varieties for Kenyan farmers. Number one, Maxibel. Maxibel is a popular open pollinated sweet pepper variety known for its heavy fruiting. The fruits weigh around 200 grams and each plant can yield 4 to 5 kilograms. Maxibel matures in about 90 days and has a high tolerance to tomato mosaic virus. Maxibel variety planting density or the planting population is around 900 plants per 240 square meter or 20,000 plants per acre. The second good variety for, for farmers is Superbell F1. Superbell is a hybrid variety with the broccoli robes and the big fleshy fruits. It has a mild flavor and high resistance to tomato mosaic virus and potato virus. Harvesting starts 65 to 75 days after transplanting. It can yield up to 25 tons per acre. How to raise capsicum seedlings? Seedlings establishment is where most farmers fail. Capsicum seeds take 4 to 5 weeks to establish. However, this can be accelerated by soaking seeds in an optimizer or city shooter solution before planting. Sow seeds shallowly and cover them with black paper to shorten the germination period by up to 2 weeks. How to plant capsicum and the spacing. For best results, space capsicums plant 45 cm by 45 cm. This allows for 20,000 plants per acre. Use well decomposed farmyard manure and irrigate thoroughly before transplanting. After transplanting, drench the plants with insecticides like thunder and a foliar feed like city shooter to protect against catworms and other pests. Capsicums are fertilizer application schedule. This is how you should now apply fertilizers from planting to harvesting. On 14 days after transplanting, apply DAP to promote root and foliar growth. 14 days after transplanting, apply NPK triple 17 to stimulate flowering. 60 days after transplanting, apply CAN fertilizer to enhance fruit enlargement. Additionally, use nitrogen, potassium, and calcium foliar fertilizers like Easy Grow Vegetative, Advanced K, and Calmax to boost plant health and fruit production further. 
capsicum paste and how to control them. These are the most destructive pests in capsicum family. Number one, lead spider mites. These are tiny pests that feed on the underside of the leaves, causing yellowing and upward curling. To control them, apply profile at the rate of 10 ml per 20 liters of water or escort at the rate of 8 ml per 20 liters of water. The second pest is white flies. White flies suck nutrients from the capsicum plants, hindering photosynthesis. Infested leaves show white waxy material and to control, apply zander or profile insecticides at the rate of 10 ml per 20 liters of water. And the third one is cutworms. These are, these are pests that cut seedlings near the soil level. Drench the soil with profile at the rate of 3 ml per liter or pentagon at the rate of 1 ml per liter to control them. The other one is uh, root knot nematodes. Nematodes called cause root swelling, leading to reduced vigor and plant depth. Drench the soil with alonze at the rate of 0.5 ml per liter or marshal at the rate of 10 ml per 20 liters. Capsicum diseases and how to control them. The most destructive disease is blight. It is caused by fungus Phytophthora capsica that leads to rapid foliar, fruit, and root rot. To control, apply Lidomil Gold at the rate of 50 grams per 20 liters or Mistress at the rate of 30 grams per 20 liter. The best way here is to prevent the infection. The next disease is Downy Mildew. This disease causes yellow spots on the upper leaf surfaces and browning, leading to leaf drop and sunburn. To prevent downy mildew, apply at least Lidomil Gold at the rate of 50 grams per 20 liters of water. The other disease is Fusidium wilt. Fusidium wilt is caused by Fusidium oxyspolum. This cell bone fungus leads to vein clearing, yellowing, and wilting. To control Fusidium wilt, drench the soil with Absolute at the rate of 10 ml per 20 liters of water. Absolute is a fungicide. The other disease which is very very critical is bacteria wilt. This bacterial disease causes wilting of young leaves and discoloration of vascular tissues. To control it, apply green cop at the rate of 2.5 grams per liter, which is a copper-based product. This will tend to suppress the spread of the fungus. Capsicum farming in Kenya can be highly profitable. If you allow the light, if you follow the light steps from seed selection, pest control, and harvesting. With proper soil preparation, disease management, and continuous harvesting, you can maximize your yields and profits throughout the year. We really, really hope that you learned something from this tutorial, and we hope to see you on the next one. In case of any question, complaint, let us know.